feeling fantastic feeling ready to conquer my day like literally just feel great and just ready i am ready for what i don't know all i'm focusing right now is right now but all i know is that if something happens i'm ready <laughs> Good morning my loves, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for clicking on the video. Today it is June 24th, I'm right for once. The purpose of this video, <laughs> I'd be lying if I said that I knew exactly what the purpose of the video is, but I know that it has a purpose because I'm filming it for some reason, so we're gonna find out um, as the day continues to roll. But um, I just got back from Iran, feeling fantastic. Feel like so it just refreshed even though I don't look it because I'm like so sweaty and like sticky and uh, I feel really good um, this morning as I was running I was just thinking to build a strong mindset there's a lot of things that come into play I don't know all the things that come into play but for me personally aside from my daily practices um, meditation reading yoga here and there I would consider running a practice because I feel like I'm meditating when, when I'm running like anything that helps me feel in touch with myself and teaches me something about myself to me is a practice so um to build a strong mindset aside from what i do daily it's just like challenging yourself so whether it be going an extra mile when you're running going those extra five reps when you're training maybe at work you can challenge yourself in some way or another maybe you're trying to take the easy way out of making a project so try to make it more difficult difficult for yourself some other way i feel like nowadays everything in our lives is given to us so easily and um we don't really have to work for much like if we want something we just drive to the store and we get it like Back in the day, our ancestors, like, they had to work for stuff. Like, they were bare feet, hunting for their food, like, all this crazy stuff. And then now, here we are. Like, if we want something, we just Google it. We go to the store. We check Uber Eats. We go to Postmates. Like, everything is just given to us so easily, which is why it's so, why it's so important if you want to build a strong mindset or if you want just, like, to live a more meaningful life to make sure that you're challenging yourself some way or another. I feel like that's what helps me a lot because it just shows that, it just it's a way of kind of like getting out of that comfort zone like when i travel and i don't know where i am i have to find everything in a gym and a grocery store and my wi-fi isn't working so i can't get work done all those little things i feel like just kind of build character and if we don't ever challenge ourselves in one way or another if we're always in our comfort zone then we're never going to grow and be challenged so if you're in that place right now find something in your life that's going to challenge you and then just go from there just go from there. If you've been a long time subscriber, actually, first of all, welcome to all my new subscribers. Um, when I got put on Christian's channel, which like literally that was so unexpected, I was like, Christian, thank you for that. Like, you did not have to do that because obviously, like, he has a big um, following. So a lot of that came onto my channel, and I'm super appreciative for that because it's just another way to, I guess, share my message and share my journey with you guys and try to make a difference in one way or another in the world and just try to make an impact on someone's life. So I'm super grateful for that. And I um, just want to say welcome to all of you that actually went ahead and checked out my channel. I hope you guys have been enjoying my content so far, and I hope you guys continue to stick around because I would, I would like that. So, like I said, thank you so much for checking out the channel and um, sticking around with me. Aside from that, I also wanted to kind of talk a little bit about like where I see my channel going and what how I want to do things. I'm really going to make an effort to make it like a... I was thinking like two to three videos a week. I won't want one to be like a vlog. I won't want one to be like a food video just like me trying out a new recipe and then I want the third one to be like maybe just some like me sitting down and talking to you guys might do that that's kind of like where I see my channel going so now that I don't have any footage left because if you guys have been longtime subscribers then you would know that my videos always come out like two weeks late so I don't want to do that anymore and I am like starting today I'm making that promise to you guys that we're not gonna do that anymore like I want my videos to be very like recent that's why I'm starting fresh today it is Saturday I'm making this promise and we're gonna make it happen because I said it and once you say something you gotta stick to that word you gotta be a person of your word so um that's the goal um I don't know what today's gonna be maybe I'll just make it a vlog I just don't really have that many like exciting things to do but I do have a lot of food to cook so could make it into like a little recipe video just nice and quick I have like a lot of butternut squash sweet potatoes I have like kale I have all kinds of vegetables 
um, yeah, it's a good day to make a video about food. <laughs> it's always a good day to make a video. All right, my loves, and as promised, I went ahead and whipped something up with you guys, and it does include some butternut squash. So if you have some butternut squash sitting in your kitchen right now, you better be excited because this recipe that's coming at you, I'm not like, I mean, I came up with it, so obviously I'm gonna say it's good, but even my aunt agreed, and I'm not gonna lie, like it's pretty, pretty good. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna start your oven and preheat it at 350, and then you're gonna go ahead and cut the butternut squash in half lengthways, and then you're gonna scoop out the seeds and the fiber from each half. Following that, you're gonna go ahead and add some olive oil spray. I use the spray, you can use actual olive oil if you want, or butter, or vegetable oil, or anything you have in your kitchen that has something that's fatty in it and that's gonna help it cook better. I went ahead and made a savory kind and a sweet kind. So for the savory one, I went ahead and did some Mrs. Dash Table Blend, some basil, some sea salt, and some black pepper. And then for the sweet one, I went ahead and did some cinnamon, some pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice pumpkin pie spice and that was about it then you're gonna go ahead and pop that in the oven for about 45 to 60 minutes and depends on your oven and I guess your butternut squash and how big it is just make sure that it's very smooth and um, cooked really when you take it out once you have impatiently patiently waited for your butternut squash you're gonna go ahead and scoop everything out and i just made sure to use two different bowls because obviously we have a sweet one and a savory one and i did weigh everything out that way i could figure out the macros for you guys as well so after you scooped everything out in two separate bowls you're gonna go ahead and mash it all together and then for the sweet one i went ahead and added some dried fruits some almonds some more pumpkin spice some more ground cinnamon and i also added some agave for sweetness you can go ahead and add Splenda or Stevia if you want to save the carbs and then for the savory one I went ahead and added more salt more basil more table blend more um, salt did I say that already I might have said that already um, some feta cheese and then you're gonna want to go ahead and mash everything together and then you're gonna scoop it back into the butternut squash skins and just make sure that you do not rip the skin I kind of did a little bit because I got a little bit too aggressive with it but just be careful um, but once you're done that and you go ahead and top it with whatever you want to do I added some peanut butter as well because peanut butter just never hurts and I just thought it would be a good addition because it's a little bit salty so you guys know how I feel about sweet and savory so um, I went ahead and added some of that as well and then on the savory one I added more cheese a little bit more basil and then I pop that in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes and later on in the video you'll see me say that I recommend using a cheese that melts a lot better but um I like feta cheese it's reduced fat as well and that's probably one of the reasons why it didn't melt like I liked it too but um if you use mozzarella it would have been good too but mozza isn't as salty as feta cheese which is why I didn't use that I just I like the saltiness of feta cheese so that was my cheese of choice but obviously at the end of the day it's up to you and as far as the amount of salt and pepper and all of that that you want to put on it it's completely up to you I kind of just eyeball everything I would say everything comes to like half teaspoon to one teaspoon but it just depends on how um, your taste buds are and how strong you like your flavors to be I guess but um, after that you're gonna impatiently patiently wait again for another 20 15 to 20 minutes and then you're gonna take it out of the oven you're gonna go ahead and enjoy it because it's freaking bomb like I said I promise like it's actually really really good um, I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe I hope you end up trying it out I promise it's not too complicated it really doesn't take long aside from the fact that you have to put it in the oven for quite a bit but um, other than that it doesn't take that that long so I hope you guys enjoyed this little recipe if you did you know what to do please give the video a thumbs up and I'll leave you to the rest of the video and there you guys have it Earlier I said I had some butternut squash to cook that I've had since I went to Europe like two months ago and honestly I was so surprised to open it up and just see it looking so perfectly. I was kind of worried about it because I was like what are they injecting in there that's making it preserved for so long but I'm not complaining because my butternut squash came out perfect. I love butternut squash because it's super low carb and it's just a really good way to get volume in your daily diet. If you are dieting, if you're not, it's just a really good way to get nutrients in your diet. This is a sweet one. This is a savory one. You guys know I love sweet and savory and the best part about not tracking macros is the fact that I could just like spoon it eat it and not have to worry about what I just ate. I still figured out the macros for you guys because I know there's some of you out there who are still tracking macros and I completely 
I'm not against that whatsoever. I think it's a really good thing to do and there's a time and place for everything. If you have specific goals, tracking your macros and making sure that you are being consistent with a diet is super, super important. So um, I'm gonna give this a try and then we're gonna wrap up this little recipe video. I was gonna go for a menchi spoon, but I think a fork is more appropriate for this one. So for this one, I recommend using a cheese that actually melts because this reduced fat feta cheese was not having it. Did not feel like melting apparently, but either way, I'm sure it came out fine. Damn. If I put some ketchup on that, that would be like perfect. And then this one, I have a feeling it's gonna be really freaking good. There's lots of ways you guys can actually make this a lot more macro friendly as well just because I know it's a little bit higher in calories because I added dried fruits, um, some nuts in there, peanut butter, agave. So if you want to make it super low carb and low fat, you can opt out for the nuts, um, the peanut butter. You could probably use like stevia or splenda as a sweetener. But I went all out and used all the good things. I almost want to put like some of the sweet and savory together. I think that would be really good. I did not plan that I promise you guys I did not pay her to say that <laughs> All in all, pretty good turnout. If any of you end up trying this out, please let me know. I know it's like a complete like random different recipe, but you know, it's good to switch it up. If you want to stick to your diet and adhere to your diet, you have to keep it interesting and make sure that you're eating foods that you like. And if you always eat the same stuff, you're going to get bored eventually and you're just not going to adhere to your diet. So this is a really good turnout. I'm really proud of myself. This is going to wrap up the vlog the video, whatever this was. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. If you want to go ahead and share this with your family, your friends, you're more than welcome to do that. If you try it out, please let me know down below. I want to know if you liked it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for tuning back into my channel and I will catch you in the next one. Mm.